Hello guys, welcome to the second topic in the series of knowing your Microsoft CRM application using CRM 2016 as the application to actually illustrate or to uh, showcase Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now, just to reiterate again, this particular series is actually based on the uh, guidelines if you're actually planning for your MB2700 exam. But nevertheless, even if you are not planning for that exam, you can still use this series to actually learn all about Microsoft Dynamics CRM applications functionality and capability. So in today's uh, video, we're going to go through this subtopic, which is about how to actually create, manage and delete articles. And with that, we're going to quickly go through how to identify article template and the security rules that the user uh, need to be able to create manage article templates we're also going to you know go through how to create approve and publish an article uh, likewise how to define the article approval process and we're also going to identify security roles that user needs to be able to create and publish articles and the last will be how to actually deactivate and delete article template so we're going to go to the uh, microsoft dynamics crm uh, web to now show us how to actually identify uh, article templates and the security rules but before that we're going to quickly explain uh, what a security role is in Microsoft Dynamics. A security role is what actually grant a user or defines what a user can do on Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So um, currently I'm, I'm, I'm logging in uh, as the CRM admin which means I have the highest privilege so which means I can do pretty much everything on Microsoft Dynamics okay so to get to the security roles uh, we're gonna go to the settings and then from there we're gonna click on security and we'll click on security roles so these are the security roles that are more like uh, you know that comes out of the box we click on the CSR manager so now this is how a security role uh, page looks for the uh, security role privilege for um, article template we're going to find that under the service tab for this particular article template we can see, uh, we see that uh, the the user a user that actually has the security role will be able to create be able to read write and you know and and the rest and also we, the person or the user will be able to publish the article now what I, I said the other time, like, you know, there's something new that, that comes with Microsoft Dynamics CRM 2016, and that is the uh, knowledge base articles. Now, they've actually created a new entity entirely that actually handles knowledge base, they, which they've called knowledge base articles. So, to create an article template, what we need to do will be to go and instill from that setting. So, we're going to click on that, and then we go to the under the business, we see the template. We click on that and we go to the article template which are the procedural question and answer solution to a problem and standard kb article these are the template that you can make use of at the point where you're trying to create your article so you can as well create a new uh, or modify the existing template the next thing we're going to treat is how to create uh, an article so to create an article we're going to go to the service more, uh, work area so we click on service and then under the collateral we see the article we click. and you know you can see the status um, so now um, if you look at the the information we have here um, like what I said uh, earlier Microsoft actually has a new uh, improved knowledge base functionality which allows uh, new editing experience versioning uh, translations and other knowledge base management functionality and for you to be able to access that you know they've actually created a portal of what is actually called the interactive service engagement hub so which you know if you click on this it takes you to uh, the hub this is what it has it has the opportunity you have the opportunity to actually uh, walk through versioning num uh, versioning so using the major version number or the minor uh, version number and there's, there are also cool things that you can find in here if I open up this particular um, article, 
you uh, will see that it has this apart from the summary it has the analytics which can tell you the uh, the entities or you know currently we have just a case being assigned or being linked to this particular article so it tells you how the article is being used and how it's being consumed uh, how if, if it's being sent which actually gives uh, gives uh, the the user a good opportunity to know how the article is doing you know, we're going to go back to the to the whole article functionality so how do we create a new article so all you have to do is just to click on new and then from there it's going to ask for the template you want to use you select a template let's go for question and answer for example we click on ok so this loads the this uh, the form uh, based on the template and we can type in the titles uh, to, uh, let's say something like uh, off peak and we can use the keywords to say maybe um, network something that is related to network and uh, uh, to internet we type in uh, the title the the keywords and you can type in of course the questions and the answer you can as well add in the additional comment once we're done with that you also remember to select how to specify the subject um, the subject you can say maybe it's just of course some like a query uh, about uh, uh, just information just say information or we select that and once we're done with that we click on save we create so you can see that the status is dropped so the next thing to do is to now submit the article and uh, so we click on submit and that will make the article available for approval after submission we have the approved to be, i mean we have this the uh the article to with the status unapproved so which means uh this has to be approved so we have another user maybe a manager, a manager that will now go in to approve the article so all the the um the user needs to do is either to reject so I mean, I mean uh, so you can click on reject and put in the the comment for the rejection or you can as well just go ahead and approve and once you approve that that makes the article available for use now in the new uh, article and as in the new knowledge base functionality how do we do what we just did we're gonna go to the interactive service hub to do that we, uh, we can quickly use the quick uh, create so we're gonna go go for the knowledge base and that gives us a, a quick create form for that so which um, we can use the same thing as uh, say um, off peak kba and then we type in the keywords pretty much the same as what we did using the um, the old knowledge base so we click on save have the new uh, article being created so we can go ahead and you know put use the editor put in the content there so if you look at the uh, the process we see that we actually currently still at uh, the hotel stage of the process so we're gonna click on that and see the next thing that needs to be done so we've actually said the keywords we are yet to set up the article subject so we're gonna do that right away so we can go for the same information and then we're gonna click uh, mark for review and then we're gonna save so if you look at it it's totally different from you know the way we created article using the whole uh, knowledge base article uh, the, you have I mean the, it has a process that actually guides you through how to create uh, an article which is really cool the cool thing apart from this we can go to the dashboard so because you know primarily you know users or managers will the first point of call will be the dashboard and then we change to the knowledge manager dashboard this is where you're gonna have you know like you have the proposed articles drive articles needs review now this is the proposed article 
so this is the one we, we just we, we worked on so a manager can come here and say oh there's actually a proposed article that needs to be uh, either reviewed or, or published so the manager opens that home can take it to the next stage for a review So in this stage, the review might be to approve or reject. So I'm just going to approve that. I'm going to click OK. A nice feature of the new article functionality is the fact that you can specify when your article is going to, you know, apart from the language uh, and the translation. So you can have other articles for maybe for French for Spanish um, which will automatically link to the root and we uh, we just just go ahead and um, publish so we're gonna publish this actually want to publish it's gonna be now or we're gonna uh, push it to later time so we can specify to say in the future or we just leave it uh, that way as in publish immediately and we can make the status to be published or we can say well it's going to need a review so we can even say that as well we're going to publish but it's still going to need a review or we're going to put it as updating and we can specify the expiration date uh, now for the expiration state um, we can specify that well when it expired. It's either it's going to be expired or it's going to be archived. And we can also, you know, specify the status of that. Maybe we're going to need to review uh, the the article when it expires. Now this, which uh, the last part here, which is about to publish approved related translation, applies to if you have uh, other articles in other languages. If you want to more like automatically approve all the related translation this is where you can specify that so we are go with this with this so we're just going to uh, publish that right away so that has been published now so uh, we have uh, we can go back to list of uh, knowledge base articles and we're going to see it as under the active uh, articles we're going to see the status which is published so which means our uh, article is ready to be used. So that wraps up the um, more like a brief explanation of how to create an article using the the hold so to say hold knowledge base uh, article uh, and also using the latest knowledge base article um, that comes from, uh, with Microsoft Dynamics in 2016. So in the next video, we're going to go through how to actually mix of this of the articles. You know, I'm going to use the the old and the new. How to mix of them? How to search? How to relate them to uh, to a case? And thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thank you. Watch out for the next video. <music>